Hey, it's Joey for Digital DJ Tips, and in this video, we're just going to take a look at the three new features found in Virtual DJ 8.1, namely Cloud Lists, Genius DJ, and Shazam Integration. We've done a review of Virtual DJ 8 already, and the link is in the box below. So in this video, I'll just walk you through those three new things. Okay, so first off are Cloud Lists. Cloud lists are playlists created and shared by virtual DJ8 users. You can make your own and you can access other playlists online too. Let's take a look at one of them. Let's go to cloud lists here in my folder list. I'll just left click on it. And I've got a bunch here, but by default, you will have this one, Virtual DJ Radio Club Zone, which lists tracks that the Virtual DJ team thinks are hot at the moment. So you've got a bunch of different genres here. You've got EDM, you've got uh, Top 40 Music, and you've got some throwbacks over here as well. Basically, um, a, a good mix of uh, current and past club hits. Now you can play the songs themselves by dropping and dragging them onto your virtual decks. A virtual DJ has a subscription service called Content Unlimited, which lets you access an online catalog of millions of songs and it really makes using cloud lists and virtual DJ a one-stop experience. So here's how it works. Let's say I wanna drop this track here. It's one by Avicii. So I left click and drag it on over to the virtual deck and automatically Virtual DJ will access the Content Unlimited library and will look for that one track. So you've got different versions over here. You've got a remix, you've got radio edits, and so on. So let's say I want to drop this uh, clean extended version. So just left click on it and drag it on over to my deck. And then Virtual DJ will download the song for streaming and let's just wait for it to finish loading over here. And soon as that's done, well, you can just press the play button and you can then drop it. So that's all there is to it. Instead of streaming the track like I'm doing right now, you can choose to download this to cache, which will let you uh, play the song later on even though you don't have access to the internet. All you gotta do is to right click and just you know, left click download to cache and it'll do it automatically for you as soon as uh, this first one is finished downloading. My internet is a little bit spotty right now, so it's taking a while, but this is usually really, really quick. Like it loads literally in just a few seconds. Okay, so now checking out playlists in the genre that you're familiar with is handy, but it really gets even more compelling when you try to search for styles of music that are new or, you know, unfamiliar to you. You can add cloud lists by right clicking and choosing manage over here. And if you click on that, it's going to bring you to the virtual DJ website. Now I've already done that. Let's just bring up my browser over here and it'll ask you to log on to your account. So I've already logged in and you're going to be brought to this, my cloud lists page. And over here, uh, you can make your own cloud list, or you can also take a look at other cloud lists available on line. So if you scroll down some more, you're going to see all the other cloud lists that I'm subscribed to. I've got a reggae a music list here. I'm not familiar with that. Uh, wedding DJs. You can you can never have uh, too many wedding DJ songs. Uh, you got IDM and, you know, of course, Virtual DJ Club Zone, which we talked about earlier. Now, let's say I'm going to be playing a wedding and I want to pack some more wedding DJ music, uh, preferably ones that I don't have in my library, and I want to get some ideas. So cool thing to do would be to subscribe to the Wedding DJ Cloud List, as I've already done. And let's open Virtual DJ 8 again. And let's just go to the Wedding DJ's Cloud List over here. And sure enough, I'm going to get these tracks that are going to be certified uh, dance floor bangers, at least uh, in a wedding setting. And again, what I've done here is just I've added this Wedding DJ Cloud List, which someone else in the virtual DJ community already made. And by doing that, I've got access to this list of songs. And, you know, I could be familiar with these songs already, but not have them in my collection. So using a subscription service like Content Unlimited uh, with Cloud Lists means that I don't even have to buy the song. I can just stream them. So let's try that again with this song over here. Let's say I want to drop like this ABBA tune. And for some reason, I don't have it in my library. So drag that on over to a deck. We'll search for it. And I'm going to get these results and let's say um i want to play the song so i'm just gonna drag it on over here 
and it's going to download it from the content unlimited library and you know as soon as it's finished i can start playing it or again if i want to uh, i can just right click on a song and choose download to cache which will save this in virtual dj's download cache folder over here in content unlimited downloaded content and i can play this track later on even though i'm not connected to the internet super super handy Okay, so next up, let's take a look at the Genius DJ feature. Now, this is an old one that came from Virtual DJ 7, but it's made its way onto Virtual DJ 8.1. And what Genius DJ does is it recommends tracks based on the song that you drop in it. And it sources that info from a server based on what other DJs have played alongside the track that you've put in it. So let's try that right now. Um, we've got a couple of songs over here in this uh, short in the side list that I have. So let's say um, I like this Sharam J track and I want to see what other tracks would go well with it. So I'll just drag it on over to the Genius DJ folder over here in folders list. And these are the results that Genius DJ would recommend. So aside from uh, playing that original Sharam J track, let's just put it over here. Uh, I can try playing something by um, Shadow Child. Let's try that. Over here so again it's going to contact content unlimited server and it'll show me the results so i can just drag it on over to the deck and again it'll just stream the track from the content unlimited library if you don't want to stream it like i'm doing right now you can just right click and choose download to cache which will save it in the content unlimited downloaded content folder yeah, so that's another thing. Um, I think uh, it's something that would be useful if you sort of want to explore all the other options that you've got aside from the tracks that you have uh, in your database or in your music library or playlists. And you just want to see um, what, what else can be played alongside it. So like uh, in this case, I wouldn't have thought to be playing this Aluna George track, this Shadow Child remix one. And, you know, I don't even have to download it online, I can just use uh, my subscription service and stream it directly. All right, so lastly, Shazam comes integrated with Virtual DJ 8.1. And you can find it here in your folders list. Just left click on it. So that means that if you've got a Shazam account, the songs that you've Shazammed will show up here in the songs list window. And you can drop that song onto a virtual deck if you've got it locally on your hard drive, or you can have Virtual DJ look for it on Content Unlimited or NetSearch. So let's try uh, dropping this song over here, Christina Perry. So I don't have it in my hard drive. So what's going to happen is, yeah, Virtual DJ is looking online and doesn't have it in Content Unlimited, but it has it in NetSearch. So we're just going to choose a track here. Let's say this one. And then I can drop that onto my deck. There you go. Now I can just play this. Like a normal track there. Yeah, so it's really cool and handy, especially if you are an avid user of Shazam. So I like the Shazam tracks, you know, whenever I'm out and I hear a tune that I like to add to my collection or for dropping at future gigs. So it's just easy as, you know, um, accessing the Shazam uh, folder here and then checking it on Content Unlimited or NetSearch and just, you know, dragging it on over to your deck. Waiting for it to download, and yeah, you can play it automatically. Or again, as I've done the past two new features, just right click, choose download to cache. And if you're curious, it's gonna show up here in the download content folder, so all of them are gonna be here. And I can just, you know, drag and drop them in. Yeah, stop, and just drag and drop them in there. No problem. Yeah, so that's it for this short talk through. I've got a full review of these features over at the Digital DJ Tips website. The link is in the box below. So please hit the thumbs up icon and hit the subscribe button if you are not a subscriber yet. I'll see you next time.